If God created us, yes. which we've established, yeah. he must have created us for a purpose, not just yes. left us. Now, when we say that God has created us for a purpose, it's only uh, reasonable and only logical to say that God must have told us this reason. He can't yeah. have left us blind and yes. then everyone has to guess. And uh, you know, like trial and error, yes. rather God would make it clear to us. So we say that God sent messengers yes. and books. And these messengers and books, they basically came with three main things, three main points. Who is God? Yeah. As in his names, his attributes. Yes. What is the way to God? How do you get to God? How do you please God? And third, what happens when you meet God? Yeah. So, who is God? We've established he's one, yeah. Yeah. He's, he has perfect names and attributes. Yeah. He's the almighty, the all merciful, yeah. the all loving, uh, the most just, the all knowing, this is God. Yeah. The way to get to God is to obey his commandments and stay away from his prohibitions. And this is what Noah came with, Abraham came yes. with, Moses came with, yes. Jesus came with, and the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, yes. peace be upon all, them, on, upon all of them. They all came with submission to the will of God. Yes. Submission is a word we understand. Yes. In Arabic, Islam. Yes. Islam means submission. And last is what happens when we die. We all have to return to God. And God will say in so many, uh, to the meaning, this will, yes. I gave you this life. Yes. I gave you so many blessings. Yes. And I sent you messengers, I sent you books, I gave you intelligence. What did you do with it? And if a person answers, everyone has shortcomings, everyone commits yes. sins. No one can say yes. that I live my life perfectly. No one will say this. Yes. But if a person is sincere and they strive yes. to, go, to go the correct way, then that person will enter paradise. Yes. If a person rejects out of arrogance, he sees the truth, he knows it's the truth, and he rejects it out of arrogance, then that person will be punished justly, the hellfire. Yeah. That is the message of Islam. Yeah, it's also like the message of Christianity as well. <laughs> Along the same lines, yes. and Judaism, yes. we have uh, a major difference. Yes. When it comes to Judaism, yeah. even though there are similarities between yeah. Judaism yeah. and Islam, yeah. we would say where they went wrong yeah. is rejecting Jesus, yes. the Messiah sent to them, yeah. and rejecting the last messenger, Muhammad yes. yes. So we would say once you reject the messenger, yes. you have rejected the one who sent him. Yes. Okay? And also Judaism, when they restricted it to one particular tribe, I don't know, yeah. and one particular race. Yes. When it comes to Christianity, even though we agree with many things, yes. where they have gone astray and where they have gone into disbelief yeah. is to claim that Jesus is God or he yes. is part of God, the Trinity. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the basic of Christianity as well, you know? Yeah, but the thing yeah. is that yeah. I, I understand yes. that no human soul can actually yeah. accept the Trinity. Yes. I don't, even, I don't even believe that any Christian can explain it. Yes. They will try to, they put forward a, uh, yeah. an effort. Yeah. And our experience with them and other people experience, yeah. they will always come back to God is a mystery. Yes. Or you need to have the Holy Spirit in order to yeah. understand. No one can explain it because it's a contradiction. It's, even the Christians, they have a thing called the, uh, the logical problem of the Trinity. They call yes. it LPT. LPT. Yeah. Yeah. They study on it, they do masters on yeah. it, they do books on it. No one can explain it. Yeah. So that's Trinity. And also to say that... But, well, really it comes down, it's convenience, isn't it? It's to come down to pragmatism. Well, the thing is, the thing is, when you when you say that God humbled Himself, yes. so He's not Almighty anymore. When you say that God became a human being, yes. or became into a human being who yes. was born from a woman, yes. Jesus prayed, yes. Jesus had a God, yes. Jesus became hungry, yes. Jesus became tired, and then tell us that He's fully God yes. and fully man. Without without sounding rude, yes. it's, it's nonsense. Yes. And also, yes. in Islam, we believe that everybody has their own relationship with yes, God. Yes. Everyone can get close to God. Everyone yes. can have a loving, merciful yes. relationship with God. And when I commit a sin, I turn to Allah, O oh Allah, O oh oh, uh, the most merciful, the most kind. I have done wrong. Forgive me my sins. And we believe if a person's sincere, his sins are forgiven. Christianity says no. 
there's something else you need. You need the second person of the Trinity to come down in the form of a man yes. and to die for your sins. Yes. Even though this man, according to Christianity, yes. is sinless, yes. he is going to be punished for your sins. It's, it, it goes against the Bible, it goes against logic, it goes against the mercy of, and the justice yes. of God. So that's the difference. So that's why I put to you that Islam is the only true religion. Okay. And if you want to be successful in this life... But, but that's what pushed me out of the church, really. Yeah. Because when the church said Christianity is the only true religion and everyone yeah. else is damned. And that, that, that's what uh, I find difficult. That, that is the central thing I find difficult to accept. Okay. So, do you, do, you, do, you, do you not think it's reasonable that if God is one and He alone deserves to be worshipped, that if someone persists to worship His creation, a prophet, a messenger, a tree, a stone, the sun, the moon, the stars, all of these things are created yeah. by God. Yes. Is it not right for God to say, I deserve worship alone? And if you persist on this way, out of arrogance and rejecting the truth, then I will punish you. Well, maybe God could say that, but I don't see what people should be saying now. But that's, that's the point I mentioned that God, in order to us to know our purpose, yeah. He sent books and He sent messengers. And if the, yeah. book, if the book says that and the messenger I, says I that... I find it very difficult yeah. to, Why? to believe that people who live in ignorance are going to be damned. No, there's, there's, a, there's an issue of... In Islam we believe yeah. very clearly yeah. that Allah does not punish until he has sent a messenger. Yes. The message has to come to the person. Yes. But if, if the message comes to a person, yes. even before the clear message comes to yeah. them, the idea that God is one yes. and there has to be a creator, yes. this is something which is mankind is created upon. This is our yes. natural disposition. Yes. For example, if you, if you put someone on a desert island yes. or in the, the Amazon yes. or somewhere yeah. Yeah. where there's no contact with human beings, yes. they haven't heard about religion, they yeah. haven't heard about books, yes. that person can recognize there must be a God, yes. there must be a higher power and still has a desire to call out to that God, yes. even though they may not know the way. Yes. But no one in that position has the right to say, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit or no one has the right to cut, cut down a tree yeah. and use the firewood to cook their food, use the wood to make their house and whatever's left over to make a statue and bow down to the statue. Without the message coming to them, no one has the well, right to do so, that. Are those people damned then? Of course. See, that's, that's, I don't know. Why is that difficult to understand? Do you, do you think that, that uh, well, do you I'm, think that idol can help you? No, no, I'm not saying it's difficult to understand. Do you think that I, idol can help you? I, I just find it difficult that person's telling me this because ah. I always remember the, the story of um, you, you probably have it in the Quran as well. The story of um, Jonah. That's in the Quran, isn't it? Jonah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, and, and to me, the point of the story is God saying, "Well, you are subject to me. You've got to subject yourself to me. You can't be saying, oh, those people are good over there. Punish yeah. them.'" No, but the thing was with Nineveh, yeah. according to the yeah. account, yeah. Jonah was sent to them. Yes. He, he wasn't pleased to go to them, yes. he didn't want to go to them, yes. according to the biblical yes. account. And God was displeased with yeah. him for yeah. not submitting to what God yes. said. But the people of Nineveh, eventually they repented and yeah. they turned back yes. and God accepted it from them. What, what I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the... No, but he was saying they ought to be punished. Yes, yeah. no, but I understand your point. But yeah. what I'm saying here yeah. is not that I'm saying yeah. this person is condemned, this person yeah. is condemned, yeah. this, these people yeah. are condemned. Yeah. My, we are saying that this is solely up to God. Yes. But God has told us and informed us that if the message comes to a person and after he has given them life, he yeah. has created them, and they meet him, yeah. but, uh, he I, has condemned but, them. But, but I accept yeah. that. But I don't think it's right it's a person to be going up to them then telling them oh no i wouldn't do that i wouldn't i'm here i'm talking in gen generality you know why because i don't know my condition tomorrow yes and you can have a person who's extremely evil extremely yeah. wicked yeah. and that person before they die yeah. they may regret everything yes. they've done they may yeah. repent of what yeah. they've done and their position with god is uh, amended. Okay. So, so, that's, so, so I'm not talking about individuals, but I'm talking okay. in, in okay. generality. Okay. That's different from Christianity. Okay, let me have a look at this. No <laughs> problem, sir. Okay, take care. All the best. Okay, thank you. Thank you.